This is uh, Brandon and Mustafa. We're gonna perform a short burst EVP session in the gym. So Mustafa and I were in the gym investigating the reports of two kids that were told to be quiet by a man from the bleachers. Do you visit this school often? Do you watch the students play basketball or any other sport? Is there anything you'd like to tell us? All right. Daryl and Kristen, we're in the auditorium, and it is 1.10 a.m. Kristen and I head to the auditorium to investigate the claims of a woman in a dress who has been seen by the custodians up in the uh, balcony. There's no windows in here, so it's not gonna be car lights or mm -hmm. anything from the outside. So, what could it be? I think what we need to do is, we can get up on that balcony from over here. Okay. So, yeah, you know, get up there, unless you wanna go up there and try to create it and I'll watch, but. Well, I'm a lady. <laughs> there you go. There I am, so maybe I should be up there. Oh. Oh. What was that? That's interesting. Yeah. Is that supposed to happen? We have lost light in the theater. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be sensory lights, Daryl. They just all... Yeah, they all just went out. The interesting thing is they went yeah. out slowly. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did notice that. They just all slowly, like, they dimmed. Is someone in here with us? Who's in here with us? If you're feeling up to it, feel free to play with this ball over here or move it for us. Did you hear that? I did. Was that you up there? You heard that? We started to hear what initially sounded like settling of the wood and the bleachers. We have to go up there. But it continued uh, and almost seemed to respond to our questions. It's cold up here. I was just gonna say that. I didn't want to It's like really cold. Yeah, very cold. You all right? Yeah, yeah, it's just kinda hard to move up here, man. Is that you making Mustafa feel this way? We heard that? Yep, exactly. Brandon, are you hearing it on the other side now? Yep, it moved. It moved. I think we're gonna have to go on opposite sides. That's fine with me. I'll head over there. All right. Keep that recorder rolling. So the theater lights were turned on to just be able to see around and the only way that those lights would go off if somebody actually turned them off from this room. Yeah, okay, so there's a monitor up here. That's what's giving off that light. It could be an electrical problem. Doesn't necessarily mean it's... It could, but the way that they dimmed, I mean, this is the... They, they moved to dim front of the house. Nope. So now none of the lights are going on. Brandon? Yep. There's a lot of wood creaking next to me, man. Directly next to me, and I'm very cold. So Mustafa and I split up. I came to the second set of bleachers over here, and uh, as soon as I sat down, I heard a few noises. Not too long after that, Mustafa started having the same sound right over by him, so. Brandon, something's touching me, dude. What? It's right above me. Coming over there. Dude, my vision's blurry, man. Something's touching my head. Dude, this is crazy. You all right? Yeah, dude, it's, it's fine. I'm not, like, I'm not scared at all. I don't get a bad feeling from it at all. I felt like something went like this over my head like this and was just touching my cheeks like this and then all my head. And I was overcome with emotion. The crazy thing is I didn't get any bad feeling. I wasn't scared but very interesting. 